When I think of immigration, I not only think of struggles and barriers, but also motivation. Motivation is the cause of everything, whether it is something reoccurring like getting out of bed or something life-changing like moving to a different country. Motivation can vary from person to person, but for me, it means family. I grew up knowing that I can count on my family for anything. Having that support system allows me to try my best in everything I do in order to be that support system for the next generation. I learned to rely on my family for my mother because when she was younger, her only constant was her family. My mother has always been a hardworking and caring individual. She puts everybody's needs in front of hers and is constantly striving to do her best, whether it is in school, work, or at home. Through experiences and hardships, she has stuck by her family to shape her into who she is today and continues to do the same for her nieces and nephews. On September 11th, 1965, in Guadalajara, Mexico, a beautiful baby girl was born. She was given the name Rosa and was the, the youngest of six children. Rosa would later grow up to be my mother. Her mother washed clothes for a living while her father was a drunk. Throughout her childhood, Rosa would have to deal with her parents' constant arguing and father's mistreatment. In these difficult times, she found comfort, security, and support in her older siblings. With their help, she was able to overcome her parents' divorce. Because her father wasn't in the picture, Rosa did everything in her power to try and mend her broken family. She tried to help the people who were always there for, to help her. While still working on her high school diploma, Rosa would cook and clean to maintain balance in her family. But little by little, her beloved family began to making families of their own, and her security blanket started to dissolve. So she decided to go to America to earn enough money to build a new home for her mother. She was a, this was a huge step for her, not only because she was moving to a different country, but because she was going by herself. Even though she was fearful of living alone, she never had a doubt in her mind throughout the train ride to Mexicali, the bus ride to Tijuana, and the sneaking over the border. Not knowing if she would see her family again drove her to start having a lack of motivation in everything she did. Eventually, Rosa realized that even if her family wasn't with her physically, they were with her mentally and spiritually. Because of this, she started to work as a nanny in order to save up money. After three years, she finally had enough money to move her mother and siblings to the United States, abandoning her plans to build her home back in Mexico because she saw how many opportunities were in America and she wanted to utilize them. When she was reunited with her family, she felt ecstatic, not only because they were together again, but because she learned that they were never really f apart. Now, more than 30 years later, Rose's beloved family has been filled with new additions, from nieces and nephews to grandkids and daughters-in-laws. Rosa couldn't be happier with how her life turned out.